Hey guys, what's going on? It's GP here and welcome back to our fresh new Minecraft survival series. It's not really too new anymore, is it now? But all the same, um, I've been a bit busy since the last episode, which is basically the Nether Fortress raid. We finally got what it takes to make potions, and if you smell what's cooking about here, um, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be focusing on making potions and something else as well, since I thought of something, because... Last episode, I was talking about not knowing what to do, um, aside from trying to look for a bastion in a, the nether. And I'm practically done with nether exploration for a while until I find a bastion, thanks to the nether fortress. But there was something that I did think of that um, hopefully we can get to in today's episode. So if you guys want to keep seeing Minecraft content on the channel, be sure to absolutely demolish that like button. Absolutely crush it! Mm, excuse my voice there. And, uh, if you're new or old to the channel, I'm just gonna let you subscribe or do whatever you want based on the content you see before you today. Which, of course, a few of you might be confused. Why are you playing Minecraft on a Monday? Um, basically, if you guys didn't know, I had planned on doing a Don't Starve live stream the previous weekend. But, things got a bit confusing, so I went off to do it off-camera, and I started another world. Surprise, surprise, I died in it again after a few days after getting my setup trying to get to somewhere interesting so I've got to do it again um, off camera get to another setup there which is one of the reasons I wanted to live stream it so I wouldn't have to worry about death interfering so just for this once at least I'll be swapping up Minecraft today uh, for Monday and you'll be seeing don't starve on Wednesday instead this week um, and of course, I'd also like to apologize about my delayed Sunday Smashdown. There wasn't much I could do in that scenario either. But we are back to Minecraft. Everything is going quite swell. I've improved my farm. I think I should have enough for everything, aside, save for pumpkins and melons. Um, and I believe I've also got my nether wart farm set up in here as well. Um, hopefully it's all grown. I've got plenty of nether warts to supply me already, though, for potion making. So, I don't necessarily need a bunch from the nether here for my farm, but I'm just going to go ahead and check up on it, see how it's doing real quick. Of course, dead ahead. It should be, um, there's my respawn anchor. I believe I made it further. Yes, here it is. So, I've got quite a bit of nether wart for certain. Looks like some of it might be grown. Let me check that real quick. I can never really tell. Um... How much did I get from all that? Two. Okay, my bad. They hadn't... I can, I can never really tell. Usually when they're big like that, you expect they'd be fully grown. So, we'll let that grow over time. I've got enough nether warts to supply me with a few potions already though, so again, no need to worry about all that. I'll let it take its time, because I've already got what I need to do what I need to do. If you guys know what I mean now. All right, so let's get down to po- Oh my god. What? Hello there. Uh, do I have any wheat on me? I need this. Oh my god. It's, uh, I forgot his name. I had a pink sheep. In every Minecraft survival series. It's like how I've got old Lightning and the dog. So, come in, come in. I'm keeping you with me. Come in. I don't want the white sheep. No. I want you. I forgot his name. I think it was Greg? I can't remember right now. All I know is that you should not be in here. So please leave. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. It's been nice seeing you. D no. Get out of my house. I don't want you in here. There we go. Okay. So I've got... I'm just going to call him Greg for now, because I've forgotten his name. So, Greg the Pink Sheep. Um, very, very cool, I gotta admit. Was not expecting that when I returned from the nether. I've got all my potion stuff ready. I've taken up fishing now, which I've gotten a lot of cool stuff from that. Um, especially one, even though it's a bit risque, I suppose you guys could say. I got a Curse of Vanishing fishing rod. Um, so, not much to say about that, I suppose. 
But I can I have gotten a lot of fish, a lot of food supply, and some puffer fish, which is what I was thinking of for today's episode. Making potions, of course. But also, with these puffer fish, I can make potions of water breathing. Potions of water breathing means I can finally start properly exploring the ocean. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, that's right, I need uh, blaze powder for that. It's a good thing I did make some then. I need a bit more, so I'll turn bl more of this blaze rods to blaze powder then. Because I forgot that now you need blaze powder to power it up, don't you? Uh, move out of the way, Greg, please. It's kind of important, I don't want to hit you. Alright. That should be enough for now, which means I do need to go back and kill more blazes eventually, but... I've got enough to get me going for a while. So, yes, blaze powder, nether wart, that's going to be the first batch. Let's see, what do I want to start with? I've got fire resistance I can do. I also got my first sugar. So right now I can only do fire resistance, regeneration, water breathing, and speed. And poison, which I can turn into splash potions with that gunpowder. So... We've got our awkward potions all here. Don't need that anymore. But let's go ahead. Oh, also it's already filled up. So yeah, that's nice. I can take that access out. And I can put it in here. And with this I can get strength potions. So that's also another really nice thing I can do there. Um, I'll start with the regen potions. I got four gas tiers. So... Convert. There we go. Let's start with these then. We'll make these regen. Let's make the other ones strength potions, why don't we? We get three of each, so... That's pretty useful. I would've went ahead and did, like, two separate ones, but I can make more batches off-camera. Um... There they are. They last for 45 seconds, so... Hmm. I gotta remember. I know glowstone upgrades them, and then redstone increased the duration. I'll use the redstone then here, for this case. Yeah, let's do that. Of course, we got potions of strength for three minutes. So, for the regen, I'll go ahead and make the duration longer. And for the strength potions, I'll go ahead and upgrade it with the glowstone. And after this, I might as well make some, uh, poison potions, some splash potions. They definitely help with the creepers, that's for certain. Even if they don't help with, like, all the undead mobs, like zombies and skeletons. I'd imagine they also help with a good surplus of stuff in the nether, too, perhaps? And then water breathing for me to explore. Alright, there we go. Two minutes of regeneration. That's what I like to see. And here we've got strength too. It doesn't last as long, but it does get me better strength. Oh, all right off, already off to a good start. I love it. So let's go ahead and put these in the chest for later. Might as well make at least a batch of each, you know, and then I can make more of these that I've already made off camera. So next, let's start with poison. Uh, fire resistance. And then after that, I'll make... I've only got one sugar, so I can only make a little bit of speed. Uh... And then I need the water breathing, and then from there... We can go... Exploring... The ocean. There we go. Let's go ahead and hook these water bottles up. Um, get that going. All right, this is going real nice now, that's for certain. Of course, I could put in a different thing to make it a mundane potion. But I don't think that's what we're going to strive for just yet. I'm sure, this should be almost done. Yes, it is. So let's go ahead and put in the spider eye. Make some poison out of that. Let's turn these into awkward potions. Hmm. 
also grab the sugar. It's the only one I've got right now, but it should help. Okay. See, so yeah, I've got poison for 45 seconds. Now, you know what, yeah, let's upgrade it with the glowstone dust before I turn into a splash potion. Let's make it deal a bit more. And now for here, fire resistance. This will be really helpful for the nether. Awesome work so far. Let's see this. It should be done, right? There we go, let's see. Poison 2 for 22 seconds. Let's go ahead and turn those into a splash potion. Cause we don't want to be drinking that up ourselves. That's not necessarily what we want here. All right, there we go. So it lasts even shorter. Now it's a splash potion, but still, I've got him. Might as well keep him handy on me at all times. So let's see, how long does this fire resistance last? Three minutes. I'll go ahead and use the redstone for those to make it last longer. Because we know in the nether, three minutes could be enough to get us killed at one point, right? We are all very aware of that. Well, that's going on. Let's get our next batch ready. In this stand. Go ahead and pop in the nether wart, get that ready. And there we go. Let's see how long this is. Eight minutes. Oh, that's fantastic. Just what I'm looking for. Fill those up. And drop them in place. Let's go. I don't need the gunpowder anymore, so let's put that back. Uh, magma cream. Hmm. Oh, I don't need the blaze powder anymore either. That's right. Okay, is it done? It certainly is. So now, let's use the only sugar we have for some speed potions there. Let's turn these into awkward potions. And soon we'll be going under the water soon, boys. Store these for later. I will store two of my poison potions, but... I'll go and keep one on me as a just-in-case. A trial measure, so to say. So long does the speed last? Three minutes. I'd say that's pretty good by itself. I don't think we need to enhance that any further. And now for the biggie, I'm gonna need to make quite a few of these before I head out. Let's make some potions of water breathing. Oh, indeed, that's gonna be really handy. And of course, I got the redstone on me to make it last longer, so we can really get some exploration time. I'll get this set up as well. For more water breathing. There we go. How long does it last? Three minutes. Let's take the redstone. And there we go. We've already got three. Let's go ahead and make six, why don't we? And there we go. Six potions of water breathing. All able to last up to eight minutes. Just what I was hoping for. Oh boy, I'm gonna need to make more as well, eventually. This will all settle for now. Let's head back up. I think it's night. Say, so yeah, let's get a rest. Uh, Greg, can you please get off my bed? Also, stop harassing old lightning, why don't you? Alright. So, I'm pretty good on food. To say the least. But I still got a lot that needs to be cooked at least, so let's get that prepared. I've got all this up here. Let's cook this salmon. And now... Let's out of the campfire. I gotta be careful. I gotta get a lead for Greg soon. Um, ooh! Looks like some more of my wheat might be done. Yes, indeed. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and pop this on the campfire while I can. And of course, over there, we'll be making our way there soon enough, once we're all good to go. Alright, all my salmon is set, and I'd say the same is for this. Looking splendid. I took off my uh, gold chest plate because I don't want that to wear down. I want to save that for the nether, it makes it easier to go out in and to my base without being mobbed by piglins. 
I also can't make myself a shield yet. I have no idea what happened to all my iron. But now, with my little dock, let's go ahead and head out. I made this ever so recently. Now we can head out. We know there's a coral reef out here. So I think I'll start by exploring this nether portal. Or this nether thing, whatever it is. And we'll go from there. So let's get our first water breathing potion in hand. And let the exploration begin. We finally get to explore under the ocean of Minecraft. Ah, oh, fantastic. Okay. So let's see. Crying obsidian here. I don't think I need it though. Uh, hmm. Also might be wise not to leave her boat. So I've been playing a lot of Nautica recently. It's a bit strange for me to play under the water in Minecraft now, I gotta admit. Night vision potions could help here really, really much for certain. Dolphins. It's like a cave. Um, oh, light sea pickles down here. That is pretty interesting. Oh, I just found a ravine. And it looks like it's not hidden by the uh, surface. It's hidden. So, who knows what we could find down here, you know? That's pretty exciting. Don't want to dwell on these caves for too long. Because even with all the water breathing potions I've got, it's easy to get lost in caves, underwater or not. So... Yeah, this is an above ground cave. The ravine is completely hidden from sight, so that's very interesting. Uh, let's see what's over this way. More caves and more sea pickles. Kind of just exploring the edge of the reef here. That doesn't seem too bad. Actually, no, I can check out that now. Ooh, yeah, let me go back to my boat real quickly. And that explains why it's so dark, it's raining out. But there was one thing I didn't get to check out yet. I got to check out this nether portal. Um, when I first start up the, this fresh world, this new world. But there was one thing I still have yet to fully explore yet, and it was over here. It was that, uh, building. That, um, architecture or whatever underneath the water. Yeah, right there. I didn't really get to give that a full look into, so let's go ahead and do that then. Here we go. Oh, there's another right here. There's quite a few, actually. So this is quite a nice set of ruins right next to where I set up shop. Very interesting. A shovel would probably be handy here, but I doubt there's anything hidden under these too much. Hmm. It wouldn't hurt to check, though, especially that main one, because that's got the prismarine the sea lanterns and everything. This one looks like it might have something hidden. I might as well be careful of the drowned as well, while I'm down here. They're gonna make things a lot harder. So let's see what's in here. Some more sea lanterns, of course. It really seems like there'd be more to it though, you know? I don't know. Not everything has a treasure map or whatever, but... You'd at least think something with sea lanterns would have... Maybe some hitting significance to it. I haven't checked this out, so let's do that. Also, let's swap this out for another water breathing potion in case it starts to run out. Don't want to be frantically uh, scrambling for air now. Okay, yeah, I could really use a shovel down here. That made things a lot easier, but what is this? That's terracotta, is it not? That's different. Really found that in one of these. Hmm. Really, people disregard shovels quite a bit. I, or I do, usually. They really do come in so much handy. Can't wait to eventually make a conduit, because that's something I've never done in survival world. Make a conduit and actually get a base underwater, as well as above land. And I am just waiting. I cannot wait to do that. That's going to be very exciting. 
Still very open space down here though. At least it's not like entirely gravel or sand, which is pretty neat that they did give it a real ocean aesthetic. I feel like that's greatly appreciated in Minecraft for certain. More coal here. What's hidden through here by chance? I feel like this links up to, yeah, out here. Hmm. I haven't found any iron. I've been finding a lot of coal in these ocean caves for certain. I'm eventually bound to find some good stuff if I go deep enough, but I don't think I'm ready for that just yet. Oh, here we go. It's not a ravine, but it's a very open cave. And there's some iron. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and grab that, why don't we? It's quite a bit of it. It'll take a bit longer to grab, but it shouldn't be that bad, right? Whoa. Oh, you. Oh boy. We're getting tag teamed here. You guys think you just come in and wreck my day? Again, I'm finally under here and you're turf. That doesn't mean you're gonna stop me just like that. I think those are the only two pieces of iron ore here, so... Let's keep going along this for now. Some dolphins. That dude has a trident. I'll seem to be cost to them because they may drop Nautilus shells. I gotta move. I don't want to get speared to death today. That's the one thing to fear the most. The trident wielding... Uh, drowned. Let's take a look at this coral reef while we can. It's very expansive. Very nice. And hello, this isn't part of a coral reef. Very interesting. Hmm. Oh, water breathing's in there. Let's go ahead and pop in another potion. Why don't we? Hmm. First time I've really explored. There's quite a few of those sandstone structures. That's interesting. I know there's not too much to Minecraft lore. There probably is, but I'm not looking into it. But I wonder if this coral reef formed over those. Just a little theory of my own as to... Because every world is different, of course, but... From the science or um, the history of this, it would make me feel like... That the coral reef was built over those and it grew from whatever was left there. I suppose. If that makes any sense at all to anybody. Gosh, more you darn drowned. Whoa. Oh, no thank you. I'ma just leave you be. Pretend you never saw me. Um, hopefully they shouldn't be able to get to me that easily. I can't wait to find shipwrecks under the water here. That's gonna be absolutely... Astounding. I've left my boat far behind for certain. But I don't mind. They did great on this coral reef. It's really, really cool. Very nice. I almost don't want to talk because of how just incredible it is, you know? Kind of soothing in a way. Hmm. All the tropical fish around. Thought that was a shipwreck for a moment. Don't know why I did. Yeah, that's like a mass of dead coral right there. Night vision potions would come really... Would go really well down here as well. I need to find carrots eventually for that, though. Which I don't know how long that would take. Plenty of kelp. I've already got my own little kelp uh, thing growing. Oh, I see you. I see you got that Nautilus shell. Hand it over, bud. Uh, looks like you don't, but I'll still take you out because you're going to prove a threat to me otherwise. Don't have any fish, so I can't feed the dolphins. Ooh, it's getting dark. It's getting real dark. Oh, is that a puffer fish? It is a puffer fish. Well, don't you know? That's pretty cool. 
My first time truly encountering a puffer fish in survival world, and that's a spider. That doesn't belong in the ocean! <laughs> Ooh, now this really does look like a coral reef now. Wow, not just all this coral block obstructions or whatever. Holy smokes. So yeah, definitely the next thing we're gonna start getting into, this um, underwater exploration. We're gonna start going far and expansive, see what goods we can find. Hopefully a treasure map can lead us to a heart of the sea where our conduits without much interference from these beasts. Oh, there's a lot of you. you Wanna go? I'm willing to go. I'll slay you on a, all in a heartbeat. Swimming zombies. The things of our worst nightmares. What in the heck? How did I end up at a mesa biome? This truly is a surprise. Well, uh, thank you all for tuning into this episode of Minecraft Survival. Wow. Um, and if there's one thing I know about Mace is that they're rich in gold, so if I find any caves, I gotta keep my eyes peeled. Um, this was a shocker. I did not expect to end up here. We're gonna continue our underwater exploration as well, of course. Um, oh, let's get moving. But for now, um, if you guys like what you saw, then maybe you might want to consider checking out my second channel in the description below. Um, I do a lot of non-game related content there, and you guys might find some pretty nifty stuff over there. That could possibly interest you. A ravine. Ooh. Um. Share this video with your friends, people you know, any communities may be a part of. Spread the word that I'm here to entertain for all ages. And I, ho, oh, I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold, my friends, and bye bye